Right guys, what's up? It's Opaque TV, and today I'm going to show you how to apply the sandstorm effect to an image like this to make an image like this. Um, as you can see, the uh, runner has like particles disintegrating from him. Uh, it's a really easy effect to do, and it will take you about a minute, two minutes to do after you've set everything up. So I'm just going to show you a couple more examples of this. Um, here I've got a watch, and I applied it to make this here. As you can see, the watch is like disintegrating. And then I have this image, and which turned, which I turned into this here. This looks really good. And I also have a skier, I think, yeah, a skier, where he turn, I turn it into this here. So let's start off with this. So the first thing that you want to do is drag your image into Photoshop, and it should probably have this um, be named background and have a lock on it if it doesn't have a lock on it and it isn't called background it will look probably look something like this what you want to do if you see this is just go up to uh, layer new and then background from layer and that will turn it into the background with a lock on it then you want to make a new layer by clicking on this icon down here hope you can see that and you just want to rename the layer by double clicking on the name to brush uh, everything lowercase, no spaces, nothing, just brush. And then uh, you want to get your paintbrush. And here is where we're going to select the areas that we want to disintegrate and where the action should like get the colors from and stuff. This will make more sense later in the video when, um, when I actually run the action. So what I'm just going to do is highlight where I want the particles to come from. You don't really want to highlight too much and make the stroke too big. So I'm just going to put it down a bit. And I want in the particles, I want the particles to be yellow because of his shirt and also black because yeah. I'm just going to highlight the colors, or like highlight the areas that I want to have particles coming from. I also want some white from his shoes. So I'm going to highlight that and that and then I also want some particles coming from the back of his leg. Um, here you have to experiment with this because it doesn't always turn out good. Hopefully it will turn out good this time though. Uh, so you can just like undo it. And I want the particles to go to the left over here. So uh, I'm going to extend the canvas a bit so you can see the whole thing. So to do that, you want to go on the background layer and go up to image, canvas size, and then here you can set the anchor point. So I want the image to extend this way. So I'm going to put the anchor point here so the arrows are pointing to the left, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm just going to change that to centimeters and change the width to 78. I think that's good. Yeah, and then I'm going to color this area the area that i want to have the same as the background for the image you pick it's best to pick an image with a plain background like white or black but any image works this image here is really good and then what's important what i like trouble with is when you're brushing you want to have the opacity on 100 not less than 100 uh, less than 50 sorry because then it won't work and then once you've done that, everything is set up and now you can just run the action. So in the description of this video, I'll leave instructions to where you can download this file here. It's going to be called Sandstorm or something like that. And to install this, you just want to double click on it and it will open Photoshop and it will be installed. It's really easy to do and it will say like install or something. And then that's how you install the program or the action. And so after you've done that, you want to go up to window and then go up to actions, go down to actions and just click on that. And this little window on the right of your screen will pop up. And here you can choose the direction you want the particles to go in. So you can make them go left, right, up, down and middle. And that's quite clear. Just middle makes the particles go around, like spread everywhere around the selection. But on this example, I want to have them go left. So you just highlight the color you want. You can just click on it once. And then you press this icon down here. It looks like a play button. Just press play. 
and now it will take around 30 seconds to two minutes depending on your image and your selection size and stuff so I'm just gonna pause skip this and hope it works so the action is just finished um, as you can see it's already done a really good job in this so once you've done that you can close close this window and as you can see the particles are uh, like disintegrating from him and as you can see I selected some of the yellow and now the yellow particles green particles where his pants are the black particles and white particles where his shoes are so the selection like does matter and here I probably selected a bit too little I, th I thought I selected too much but it's mm, it's a bit too little but it's okay uh, so that's how I got my images what you can also do is just uh, change the like sandstorm particles effect by just clicking on the sandstorm folder down here opening it up and then you can click on the like large particle um, click on one of these layers and you can just like move around some of the particles as you can see there's some like large blurry particles that I'm moving around you can make these particles like what I've seen this other guy do you just make them really big so there's some perspective in the image as you can see there's like a really big particle here and there are a ton of other things like there's also small particles I think you can just move them around and you can also duplicate them if you want more of them so as you can see I've got more of those um, this can as said be applied to like any image I've seen this guy applied to animals uh, what else like martial arts I think and like ballet and stuff so this is like a really really good Photoshop uh, like skill to learn and it's really easy to do uh, I'll leave the instructions in the description as I said before uh, hope you guys uh, like this video subscribe comment if you've got any other things you'd like me to see and see you in the next video